Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you a whole life update about being made redundant from British Airways, my life going forward, how I've been dealing with being made redundant and dealing with the unknown future, which I think a lot of us are actually feeling at the moment with the whole coronavirus situation, which is obviously worldwide. So all of you guys are feeling this at the moment. I kind of want to talk about my new direction as well. And yeah, just share it with you, because obviously it is a bit a big part of my life. And I felt that not filming it would be a bit weird to just not talk about it and you guys wonder what's going on, what I'm doing with my life, if I'm working and stuff. So I'm just gonna tell you the whole story. So if you wanna grab yourself a drink, have a sit down and I'm just gonna have a little chat with you guys. And I hope you guys do enjoy the video. Obviously if you do, don't forget to give it a like. And if you're not subscribed already, don't forget to click that subscribe button just below the video. I appreciate all of your support, especially at the moment as well. I'm really enjoying YouTube and I have seen that more of you have been subscribing recently, so I do really appreciate it. So, as you guys know, I was working for British Airways out of London Gatwick and I did that for a year and a half and I absolutely loved the job. I had only been there for a year and a half, so I was still fairly new. Um, it takes quite a while to get used to the job, to go to all the destinations, things like that. So I was just getting into the swing of it, really feeling comfortable in myself um, and flying. And then obviously coronavirus happened. We were furloughed for about five months. So I don't know if they have furlough in all countries, but in England or the UK, we've got furlough where the government is basically paying, helping companies to keep us employed whilst paying when we weren't working. I had that for about five months and then British Airways was like, right, we're making 12,000 people redundant and sadly, a thousand of us from Gatwick cabin crew were made redundant and I was one of them. <laughs> it was really, really upsetting and I cried a lot and just felt very down and depressed because it is like a grieving process that you have to go through. Um, you know, you've got the anger, you've got the denial, the sadness, and it wasn't just like any job. It's not like I've been made redundant from a supermarket and I can just go and get a job at another supermarket or I've not been made redundant from a bank and I can just go and work for another bank or from a gym and I can just go and work at another gym. This is the aviation industry and there are no other jobs in any airlines at the moment because all they're doing is making people redundant. So it's not like I can go and be cabin crew somewhere else. There's no other job like it. There's no job where you can do a shift and you end up in a hot country on a beach, have a few days to relax, make new friends, lots of fun. I also got to take away my partner a lot for really cheap prices. We went to so many countries last year together and yeah, it's just really sad. I wanted to take a couple of friends away with me this year and obviously that hasn't happened. I have requested to go back into something they've called a talent pool. So it means that when they recruit again, they will go to the talent pool first before they outside recruit. And I'm obviously in that. So hopefully when things go back to normal, they will bring us back, but it's not guaranteed. And also it's not even guaranteed that the airline will even last at Gatwick. So. We don't know what the future holds and I've got to plan kind of my life now now as though I'm not going back because I can't just wait around. I waited around for months with British Airways knowing what was going on. They took ages to make decisions about everything and a lot of us were really suffering because of it. That's the stage right now and I have also kept my staff travel so I can go away for the next couple of years using my staff travel with one other person which is good. So I'm happy about that but not that we really can fly anywhere anyway at the moment with the coronavirus. For me, it was really, really difficult. And if any of you are in a similar position at the moment, so being made redundant, unemployed, not knowing where you're gonna go with your life, I found for me that obviously talking with friends, still having fun and like not stressing all the time, because I feel like you can kind of shut yourself away and not want to talk to people about it, but just trying to have some normality in your life and I've still kept going to the gym, obviously, and stuff like that is really important. Self-care, just things like looking after yourself, looking after your body, your health, your mind, your sleep, all of those things, because all of those for me were really, really affected. And also that if you are feeling sad and you want to cry, then cry, because that's what I did and it's okay. Like, I cried a lot. <laughs> And obviously tell your friends and your close ones what's going on for you because you might end up taking it out on them. So it's good to communicate and just be open and, and say how stressed you are feeling and down you're feeling. For me, a lot of my friends don't understand because 
um, they haven't worked in this industry and even some of you guys might not understand and it's a very strange thing to have taken away from you because like I said before there is no other job like it there is nothing that can replace it so then when I've started job hunting it's been very very depressing because nothing matches that job however I have obviously got my background of modeling and I am still a personal trainer and for me I never hated modeling I never hated you know oh, I still love personal training and nutrition coaching which is why I've still made all these videos and why I still coach some of you guys as well. So for me, I'm wanting to go back into personal training full time and also do my modeling as well on the side. That is my goal at the moment. I'm also going to be doing an online life coaching course. So I've been researching recently and I'm just gonna do a, a year or so um, online course alongside wh wherever my career path takes me now. I feel that as for you guys with my channel and also with my clients that being a life coach could be so beneficial like on this channel I obviously talk about mental health, anorexia, eating disorders, fitness, nutrition and I feel that life coaching is just that really fits into that whole holistic approach and I'd like to be able to help people more because I feel like I have the basic knowledge from my own experience of therapy over the last 10 years but I want to help even more. So that is my plan. So I'm trying to see being made redundant as a positive, but it's gonna lead me into where I truly want to go. I knew that British Airways wasn't my path for me forever. It's not who I wanted to be. I wanted to grow Chloe Inspires, and this is now gonna give me that chance to do that. So I'm looking at ways that I can personal train full time at the moment. I've done one modeling shoot so far. So if you guys want to see my latest modeling pictures, I'll put a couple on the screen now. And also they are on my website if you go to my portfolio. Obviously they're also on my Instagram as well. I've put quite a few on my Instagram if you guys want to go and have a look. And if you guys are photographers or interested in shooting, makeup artists, then do drop me an email because I am getting back into that. I'm potentially going to go back to an agency, but obviously my experience with agencies in the past was not so good. So at the moment it's just freelance, but I am interested in maybe doing that. And with the PT, I've started already doing online coaching with a couple of you guys and I'm putting it out there on social media and maybe I'll go back into a gym. Obviously that is the, the, the best, easiest way to get clients. But obviously if any of you guys are interested in online personal training or nutrition coaching, then do drop me an email or visit my website for my services because it's something I'm gonna be doing full time. And as I said, I am gonna be doing the life coaching course as well. So I want to bring elements of that into my coaching as well. And the other thing that I was thinking of doing is because you guys seem to love so much the glute videos and booty building videos that I've got on my uh, YouTube channel, I was thinking of doing a booty building program that all of you guys can buy for really, really cheap with a little nutrition guide in it as well as to how to reach the goals of growing your booty because it's my most, they're all my most few videos are to do with glutes and growing your booty because my journey that myself, I think a lot of people have seen my progress and want to know how I've done it, want to do the same. So if you are interested in that program and you would buy it, obviously for a cheap price, it'll be on my website, easy downloadable format. Can you drop a comment or drop me a message on Instagram? Give the video a like if you would potentially buy it because I was thinking of making it but I wanna make sure that I get the market right. And also, what you guys would like from it. Would you like pictures in it of the exercises? Do you prefer a home, home guide? Would you like a gym guide? Would you like both? Because I could offer both. So that's something I'm thinking of doing in my spare time, which obviously at the moment is quite busy trying to do job hunting and all that sort of stuff, sorting my finances out. So that's something that I was thinking of doing as well. Um, so do let me know what you guys, if you would be interested in that and obviously the coaching side of things as well. I have also updated my website recently because I've had the time to do it. So that's all new and fresh if you want to see that. But yeah, that's my life update. So I'm not really sure where I'm going, but I think I'm gonna go back into the personal training modeling side of things. But my goal is to go more towards the life coaching route with all of that encompassed and keep doing my YouTube, keep doing my Instagram, just have lots of little things going on. But yeah, the life coaching is gonna be the main thing for me because I think it could be really good for my channel. I can give lots of videos of advice for you guys and then I can also bring it into my coaching. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video of my life update. Any feedback or anything, especially about the program, then drop me a comment below or like I said, drop me an email 
or message on Instagram as well. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel. As I said at the beginning, I do really appreciate all of your support. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.